Hello, hello, good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Oh, no, you look, you sound sad. <laughs> hello, teacher. Hey, guys, good evening. How's everything? Today, I feel happy. And I look transparent. Okay, I don't know what's happening here. All right, guys, today is Friday. Are you happy? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you don't look happy. <laughs> okay, that's not good. Tell me, Alexander, how is everything? How are you? Fine, teacher. How are you, Mr. Antonio? <laughs> Hi, teacher. Happy? Uh, <clears throat> oh, I'm normal. normal. Normal, all right. I understand. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Let me just see if I can. Nope. Nope. This one, this one is fine. All right. Well, I'm glad to see you again, Alexander. Yes. Good, teacher. All right. Welcome to the class. Hello, Yuri. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, hi. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Happy. Very, very happy. You are very happy? You? No. No? no. Why? <laughs> I'm just I'm just optimistic. Optimistic, positive. I'm positive. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm a, a little, a little, a little tired, but you know it's normal to be tired at this time, especially. especially this is late already. But yes, I'm I'm happy to see you again, Nubia. Yeah, me too, teacher. Thank you, thank you. All right, excellent, excellent. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Araceli. How are you, Yuri? You are selling. No, okay. Yes. All right. All right, she's busy. Okay. Hello, Beatrice Chamilet Lucero. Hi. Good evening. Welcome. Hello, Hello teacher. Good evening. Hi, how are you? I am very happy this Friday. Excellent, excellent, excellent. What happened to you yesterday? We didn't see you yesterday. Um, I problem the internet. Oh, you had internet problems? Yes, teacher. Ah, I understand, I understand. Oh, that's okay. The good thing is that you are here again, Beatrice, and I'm happy to see you. Well, not to see you, I'm happy that you are here. Yes, I don't see you. All right? Excellent. Yes. Welcome. All right. Wilmer. Thank you, teacher. How's everything, Wilmer? Hello. Everything is fine, teacher. I can see that you look happy. Yeah, always. <laughs> Tomorrow is it doesn't depend on my environment. Exactly. That's, oh. That is true. That is true. It depends on you. Yeah, on me. Yes, that's, that's something good. Good one, good one. <laughs> All right, excellent. I'm glad to see you again. Yes. Yeah, me the teacher. All right, excellent, excellent. It's cool. Hi, Kenya. Good evening. Welcome. Hi, teacher. You okay? Are you okay? Yes. Well, I, I feel a little bit 
sick? Yes, I can see that in your face. I don't know, maybe it's a cold. No, it's, it is possible. Yes, but take, take it's medicine. not COVID. Take medicine. It is not COVID. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it is not COVID. Okay, okay. Take some medicine. I refuse to have COVID. I'm sorry. I refuse. Uh, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> okay, hopefully you won't, you won't, it is not that. All right. Welcome to the class, Kenya. I'm happy to see you again. Thank you, teacher. Yes, no problem. How are you? Okay. Hello, Edgar. Jose, how are you? How's everything? <laughs> Good, teacher. Good evening. You are sleeping, huh? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm eating right now. Oh, really? That's good. Yeah. And drink coffee. And drink coffee. I enjoy, enjoy. I finished my coffee. Look, this is my coffee. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, okay. <laughs> but I don't drink, I don't drink soda. <laughs> yes, Why I, did you? No, I drink soda. But... <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, uh, it's a problem because I, I drink too much soda every day. I'm trying to I'm uh, trying to, to, to stop. No, it's too much. It's not good. Yeah, it's not good, teacher. Yeah, I know, I know. It is not. Yeah. But it, it is delicious. It's the best. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is the best. Uh, Coca-Cola is the best. Yeah, of course it is the best. Yeah. Uh, enjoy your food, Jose. Yes. Okay, thank you, teacher. Hello, your coffee. Welcome to the class. I'm happy to see you again. Thank you. Yes. Hello, Sonia. Miriam. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine, teacher. Are you happy? You. Yes, I'm happy. Today is Friday. Yes, it is. Um, tomorrow is a short day. Oh, yeah, really? For real? Good for you. 12, 12 p.m. You. you're off. 12 p.m. you can go home. And sleep. That's weird. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, I'm glad. I'm glad to see. I'm glad to see you again, Miriam, and that you are fine. Yes. All right. Thank you, it's, been, it's, been a, it's been a very, a very tiring and difficult week. So we deserve to rest. Yes. All right. Excellent. Oh. Uh, well, Anna Marita, hello, Carla. Hello, teacher. Hi. Uh, it's difficult to see you very often. Are you okay? Yes. Mm, so, so. What I was. <laughs> I was sick. Really? What do you well, think? Yeah. Like flu <laughs> and fever, but it's not COVID, so I'm okay. <laughs> All oh, right, that, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. glad to hear that. But okay, well, thank you. that you're back here. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes. All right, excellent. Welcome. So, oh, Arnoldo, hello. Jose Arnoldo, are you there? You hear me? No, okay, maybe he's, he's busy. Brenda Lisette, hello, Brenda Lisette. We didn't see you. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. We didn't, we didn't see you yesterday, what, what happened? I have problems with the internet. With the internet? That's yes. what I thought, that's what I imagined. Sí. Lo que pasa, teacher, es que, bueno, no sabes cómo decirlo en inglés, ¿verdad? pero este... Por acá cerca hay como unos cañales donde uh -huh. la queman y arruinaron los cables. No, estaba, uh -huh. o sea, no podía ni, ni, ni hacer llamadas ni, ni con los datos. Bien raro. Ah, oh, yeah. Es que no, 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 no me pude conectar. Well, the good thing is that you are here again and now you are in class. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that about, about that inconvenience with the cables and with the, with the, with the cane. Yes. Right, but that's yeah. okay. Thank I'm you. glad to see you again. I'm happy that you're here. Yeah. Thank yes. You. Carla Patricia, hello. How are you? Hello. 
Hello, teacher. How are you? How is everything? I'm so so. Why? I have a. Oh, yes, you told me. You told yeah. me yesterday, right? Uh -huh. but, but are you taking medicine? Yes, teacher, but I have a headache. Headache. Headache, yes, headache. Headache and a little fever. How oh, do you yeah. say? A little, a little fever. Right? Fever. It's yes. fever. Uh, yeah, a little fever. Low fever, you say low, low fever. <coughs> hmm? low, what? low, low fever. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, well, Patricia, continue drink, uh, taking the medicine, drinking uh, Thank some, you, teacher. Uh, some, uh, some liquid or something. Yes, I, I hope you get better soon. Yes, I wish you. I wish you. Thank you, health. teacher. And I wish you good health. Yes. All right, Maricela. Hello, Maricela. Good evening. How's everything over there? No, you're not there. Okay. Yes. Okay, Karen Elena, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Uh, fine. All fine, teacher. You happy? Yes. Excellent, excellent. Good to hear that. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Yes. Well, welcome, Elena. Right. Thank you, teacher. Mr. Albarenga, hello. How is everything? Everything is good. How is work? How's the uh, how's work doing? Going. I'm sorry. How is work going? Um, not too bad. Just resting at home. Ah, oh, you're not working right now? No, no. No. Oh, okay, that's that's good then. I mean, no, I'm going to start my shift on Monday. Day shift. Oh, okay. So you're going to uh, you're going to have what well, you had today off tomorrow and Sunday. No, I'm on my day off from. Let me see. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Like a week. Friday off. Friday. Yeah. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. I understand. So right that's now. why. That's why, Chepe is trabajando. He's working right now. Ah, I understand. Yeah. Okay. When he but is Chepe, working, Chepe is not is not working. Chepe is drinking, drinking coffee and eating. That's why he said, look, <laughs> Yeah, I know. Look at, look at him. <laughs> That's why him do every day. Every day. <laughs> <I> work. <laughs> Enjoy, Jose. Excellent. Drink coffee, eat, man. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excellent. Welcome to the class, Jose. Jose. Thank, you, <laughs> Thank you, teacher. All right. Hello, Iris. Good evening, Iris. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm How fine. I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. Excellent, excellent. That's really good. That's really good. Thank I'm you. Glad to that. How was your day? I'm very good. Right. Are you tired? So so. Normal. Yeah. Usted anda combinada con con Nubia, Yes, the uniform. All right, all right. Perfect. Perfect. Hey, your baby. All right. Very good, guys. Welcome everybody. I'm happy to see you here and I'm, I'm going to take attendance and then we are going to start with the topic. Uh, let me tell you that today's topic is a little complex, but I will try my best to, to make you guys understand it because it's, it's kind of complex, but we will see what happens, all right? Yeah. Let me just uh, wait for this because it's, it's still loading. Okay, I'm going to take attendance now.
Okay. Alexander Aaron Toño Flores. Present teacher. Brenda Lisette Garcia Orellana. Present. Hi. Uh, Daisy Yesenia Mesquita Martinez. She's been skipping more. She skipped the whole week. Elvin Alexander Lombrado. Ah, I don't see Elvin today. They haven't seen him. Elvin? No, he's not here. Uh, see, here is Joana Cañas Morales. Present. Uh, Jose Arnoldo Correa Jovel. Present. And we have uh, Juan Ricardo Alvarenga Alas. Present. Okay. No. Uh, Juan Ricardo Menedemo Delgado Vasquez. No, okay. Uh, another person here is Carla Patricia Pineda Lopez. Present. Okay, Kenya Cecilia. Luis Moran. Present. Maricela de Carmen Velasquez Diasis. Present, teacher. Hello. Rafael Antonio Barrieto Chinchilla. Present, teacher. Ah, oh. Hello. <laughs> okay. Ronald Alexis Gomez Mendoza. Sara Ibeth Gonzalez, Ibeth Gonzalez Garcia. Sonia Miren Cortez Vargas. Present. Sonia Anet Martínez Orellana. Okay. Wilmer Fabricio. Present. Uh, Judy Araceli Cuellar Hernández. Present, teacher. Carla Patricia, Carla, Carla Maritza Sánchez Mesa. Present. Nubia Zulema Maritza Cortés Chávez. Present, teacher. Karen Elena Vázquez Hernández. Present, teacher. Beatriz Amilet Lucero Pérez. Present teacher. And Edgar Jose Cruz Amaya. Present teacher. All right. Excellent. People, we're going teacher. to start. Yes, hello. Teacher. Hello, hello. This is Sonia Martinez, que no puede entrar. This is Sonia, que no puede entrar a la clase. Sonia Martinez. In the group? Sonia Janet. Yes, in the group. Uh -huh. In the message. Yes. Let me tell her. Okay. Mm. No, she hasn't sent any messages to the group. Yo le acabo de mandar el, el, el link. Tal vez logra entrar. Okay. Okay. Yes. Because uh, we don't know what happened to her. All right. Uh, people, quick, quick uh, thing here about about the, the the survey. Okay, here we go. About the survey that we have to do on uh, Tuesday acerca de la encuesta. Uh, algunos ya creo que la recibieron. Ya saben cómo se maneja eh, esta, este aspecto. Okay, hay que esperarnos hasta el día martes para poder hacerla. Okay, nadie, nadie la puede hacer por el momento hasta el día martes. Acá todos juntos. Okay, yes. Okay, teacher. Ya la recibieron, okay, solo confirmen el recibido y listo. Okay, no haga nada más, solo confirmen que la recibieron y ya, listo. Okay. Si para el día lunes, bueno, o martes en la mañana no han recibido, no han recibido aún el, el, el link o el, el correo con la encuesta, entonces uh, ya informe que no han recibido para poder pues poner cartas en el asunto. Yes. All right. Excellent. Ok. All right. Today we're going to work on this, on these pages. It's page 45, ok. Page 45. Uh, this topic is a little complicated to understand, but we will try our, be our best to, to, 
to make it clear and understandable. Uh, we continue with unit four company procedures and policies. Over here, we have the objective of today's class. It says, uh, I will be able to write a paragraph about policies and procedures joining clauses with when and if. Okay, that's what it is. Buenas noches. Hello. <laughs> Good evening. I'm glad that you are here. You managed to, to, to get online. All right, to get in the class. All right, excellent, excellent. Guys, uh, we have a question here, very simple. Oh, actually two questions. It says, what happens if an employee in your company shows up late? What do you do when you are sick? In my case, uh -huh. tell me, tell I, me. I called with my boss. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's no. What about the first question? The first question, Marita, uh, it says, What happens if an employee in general? What happens if an employee uh, in your company shows up late? <laughs> Marisa, hello, I'm asking you. Anybody? No grito. No. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> In my company, if an employee shows a play, he or she will receive a verbal amonestation. Oh, really? Not really, just an example. <laughs> just an example. <laughs> okay. It depends how much time, how much, it depends how much time. Okay. Ten, one minute, two minutes, three minutes, one, two hours. Yes, it's, it's, a, it's a big okay. one. What about what about the sec the second question, Fabricio? It says, uh, "What do you do when you are sick and you can go to work?" Um, I go to work, teaching. What I do is I I try not to do too much stuff. <laughs> oh, okay, I understand that. What happens if you cannot walk or move your hands? In my case, I have to go. Either the the nurse who can decide if I can continue working. Oh, okay, I understand. I understand now. All right, it's okay, yes. Right, Sulema, yes? <laughs> ready? Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, okay. Let me ask a person down here. All right, I'm gonna ask, um, okay. Rafael, hi. What happens? What happens? Rafael, tell me what happens if an employee in your company shows up late or arrives late? I don't understand, teacher. <laughs> hmm? Repeat, the question, please. Not the understand question. the question. The question is what happens if an employee in your company uh, shows up late? No, no lo entiendo. Es no el significado. Es la primera pregunta. Es la primera pregunta. ¿Qué sucede, qué, qué su, su, sucede si un empleado de, la, de su compañía llega tarde? That's the question. Claro. Solo. Oh. Es oh. Is... el llamado de atención. A verbal. No, escrito. Oh really? Yes. Okay. The bet the boss the boss talks to the person or sends a message to the person. That's what you're saying. All right. All right. What about what about the second question, Rafael? It says, 
what, uh, what do you do when you are sick and can't go to work? No, teacher, casi no lo entiendo. The second question is... Eh, mejor es, es, escríbanla porque no, no, no escucho bien. They are, they are in, the, in the chat. Ahí está en el chat. <laughs> ah. Well, let, me, let me share the book. This one's Rafael. When you are sick and can't work. Mm -hmm. um, depend is mm -hmm. a doc the doctor is is decide okay. when when employees um, not work okay okay all right i understand okay thank you very much for that uh another person brenda lee said hi Hi, teacher. Can you please tell me about this one? Um, in my case, um, they only ask the reason and it depends on what they call attention and mm -hmm. their uh, verbal attention. Okay, I understand, I understand. All right. <clears throat> Excellent people. We're going to continue with the conversation because we need to move a little faster and the, uh, for the topic that I need to explain today, which we, we see here, you see? Pay attention to, the, to these things, okay? This ones and the structure of the sentence there, because color here. There you go. I need you guys to pay attention to these words because they are. it's important to understand the structure of them. So that is what we're going to learn about today. Okay, yes. It says, uh, let me read the conversation, then we practice, okay? Hi, Annie, how is it going? Hello, Brad, I am fine, and you? I am okay, thanks. Luke, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if uh, someone doesn't come, my boss, calls him or her, and when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or a warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. Uh, if you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay, hold on. I got a... Uh, Thank you for the information. All right, let me read again, let me read again. It says, uh, hi Annie, how is it going? Hello Brad, I am fine, and you? I'm okay, thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when uh, <clears throat> a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come to come, my boss calls him or her, and when their person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. All right. Guys, is there a question about the vocabulary from here, in this paragraph? Teacher. Yes. Esa era el, Sorry. El eh, la, la conversación que tocaba este día. Sorry. Yo creo que es una antes. No, well, this is the page. This is the page. Yes. 
Yeah, I know. I understand. I understand your point. I understand your point. You 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 meant saying that we were supposed to start here in this one, on this one. But no, he's he is here. Don't worry. All right. Yes. Okay, that's what the, the program says. Okay, guys, questions about the vocabulary? No, okay then. In the breakout rooms, I need you to look in the part number three, it's, it's com complicated here. I need you to, to do this, the part three. Practice the conversation, you know what we do here. Practice the conversation and then do the part three, okay? In couples or trios, depending on, on, on what I create here, okay? I will see you guys in a few. Here we go. I think everybody's available right now. All right, let's go. See you guys in the groups. See you in the group. See you in the groups. Uh, Carla, Maritza, and Yves. Can you hear me? Did you get the... Oh, okay, sorry, Sara. I'm going to, don't worry, okay? It's okay. I'm going to send you to a group in which you won't, you won't be able to. Uh, just join, join the group, Sara, and stay there, please. Hi, Annie. How's it going? Hello, bro. I'm fine. You? I'm okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. And when the person returns, 
her or she receives a notification. Hi, you are. Con quien estoy, teacher. Carla Marisa. Carla, are you busy? Are you working? No, bueno, teacher. Mm, okay. <clears throat> and other part, I think is. <sighs> the employee receives a notification or arrives. That is the first one. <clears throat> and number two is... I'm watching you guys. Hello? Right there. You have a tattoo here. Yes, a tattoo. Me too. Look, I have one here. Really? <laughs> no, I just do it. I just do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. But I, I have one. I have. I have three. Really? Got one here. Ah, okay. On the, in the chest and one on the over here. Yes. I have three. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, cool. cool. <laughs> Excellent. Right. Uh, is cutting is cutting available? I think so. Yes, teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay. Continue with the practice and then part do part three, all right? Okay. Okay. When uh, when the employee arrives, she receives a notification. Okay, ya reordenando, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. When when Yo creo que es when the employee, ah, the employee, the employee arrives. She receives when the employee, uh -huh. she receives notification. Uh, there is something missing in that one. In the first one, there's there's a word missing. I think it's when the employee arrives late, right? Sorry, teacher. Eh, no es solamente the... reordenar la, la no, oración. No, but in the number one, there's something missing. Te falta una palabra, creo. When, uh, when the employee arrives, she or he, so this tendría que ser. He or she, porque no se sabe si es hombre o mujer. Uh, I think I think we're missing we're missing late. Le falta late. La tarde. Uh, arrives late. Uh -huh, exactly. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. I'm say, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's and funky. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay. Guys, continue, please. I will go to another group. Why? Right? Just continue. Okay. Hey, teacher. Thank you. Dice cuando las personas y ahí cómo sería más o menos. Sería de ordenar, ¿vale? When... Sí, sí, de ordenar. Eh. Creo que son las mismas oraciones que están aquí. Sí. She went, creo que se comienza. She went. Hi, she went. Hi, Annie. Hi, Annie. She received a notification. She received a notification. Yes, but I believe, I believe, sorry to interrupt you guys, but I believe in the number one, le falta una palabra en la primera, porque dice, uh, Dice, bueno, pongámosla como está, entonces acá. Ajá. Como usted, díganos cómo, cómo la tienen. Tell me, tell me. <coughs> coronavirus. Acá a hacer la, la parte 3. Tiene coronavirus ahí. Qué bárbaro, teacher. <risa> bueno, coronavirus. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <risa> I'm sorry. No, no tiene así. <risa> It's your bad teacher. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Maricela. Maricela. Sí, Maricela. <laughs> My, I'm sorry. Okay. Según la oración sería como she. No. Receive. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No. No. When. Ajá. Uh -huh. She. When. She, I receive. I think I think it's when the employee. Ah, when the employee. Mm -hmm. Yes. She, I receive notification. No. When the employee arrives, uh, she. Ah, revision receive notification. Okay, in Spanish will be when the empleado llega, ella recibe una notificación. Ah, okay. O cuando la empleada llega, ella recibe una notificación. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, perfect. Thank you, teacher. Continue no, with okay. the next, the next two. Continue with the next two, okay? I will see you okay. later. Bye. Gracias. Bye. Bye. Hola. Wing Brad. Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Guys, how's, how's everything going? I just heard that you were uh, practicing the conversation, but did you finish the part three? No, teacher. Not yet? No, no teacher. Not yet. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Okay, perfect. Tell me, opinion, okay. 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 Ok. Sonia empezó. Ahorita. Re, eh. Aquí va. La oración, la otra. Recibes, notif no, recibes, no. Notifica, notifica. No, este. La. 
el párrafo. Este, con el diálogo que estábamos aún y luego ah, bueno. la parte 3. Hi, Annie. Hi, Annie. What is in goi? In goi? Is, is it a goi? How is it going? Is, is a goi? Hello, bro. I'm fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, is Songa does Come, 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 me, boss, call. He or er and when they person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see the, your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do, do not. Thank you. Annie. Okay. La parte okay. Tres. okay. I want to see you guys do that part. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm here. Hay que ordenar la, las oraciones, bro. Exactly. Uh -huh. okay. When. Sí, when... ordenarlas. I will, I will come back. All right. I gotta go to the people in group. Ajá, empieza. Continue, guys. Sería Thanks. when. Thanks. When no. no. Hey guys, you finished here? Hi, you finished here? La segunda pregunta no la. Yeah, okay. Let me just help you then. It's difficult for structure. Structure. It's easy. <laughs> this one. Sí. What does your boss? Ajá. Pero ahí hay como. Ay, que no les va a ver el Ah, pero es que, ajá, el buen no sale arriba, por eso. <laughs> the same situation, the same situation happens with the number one. In the number one, we need to include, we need to include late. When, an, when the employee arrives late, she receives a notification. Ah, yo solo lo había dejado. When the employee arrives, she receives it's okay. a notification. It's, it's also okay, but, but with late, it would will, it will make more sense, much more sense. Uh -huh. sí, sí, sí. Yes, that's, uh -huh, I understand that. That's why you were, you were like, oh, what happened here? <laughs> but it doesn't say here, it's just, it, it just scram scramble the statements below. It doesn't say include any, any missing words. Do it again, okay? <laughs> Thank you, guys. Let Thank you. Go to the last one here. And yeah, this one. The, hey guys. We are answering the um, scramble uh, statements. Are you having some issues with it? What, what, what? Yeah. Are you having some, some issues with it? In the second one, it, it needs in the conditional. Yeah, it is. There's, there's a word missing. Yeah, when? 
Yes, but we 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 pay when we complete. Can you please can you please read them to me? Uh, in that way, I will see if you, if you got them correct. Read the first okay. one. Yes. The number one, when the employee arrives, she receives a notification. Mm -hmm. Wilmer, the number two. What does your boss do <laughs> when a worker doesn't go to work? Okay. okay. And the number three, I call my boss if I don't show, show up. up to work. Okay, yes, yes, that's okay. Yes, all right. Let me go to the last group, guys. Thank you very much for that. Oh, okay. well done. Yes, no question? No question. Oh, okay, <laughs> yes. All right, perfect then. Un tema el teacher. Ah, uh, ya. Yeah. What does your boss do when a worker is? Ah, oh, no. Se me confundió. What does What does your boss do when? No vamos a ocupar las letras que las las palabras que aparecen ahí. My <laughs> okay. I'm in sorry. the second exercise, teaching. There's there's a word missing in the second one. There's a word missing in the second one. Fatal condition, no. Exactly, exactly. There you go. Perfect. Sí, pero más que parece raro es el Que nosotros lo hemos colocado así, no sé si lo logra ver en el chat, pero le pusimos What does your boss when doesn't to go work a worker do? Pero sentimos que nos sobra puesto, algo. Yo he puesto What does sen, What does your boss What does your boss when a work doesn't What does your it it's like this. Let me help you. What what does your boss do when a coworker doesn't go to work? What 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 does your boss? To, to when, to when actually. No, that, what does, what does your boss, what does your boss do when? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. When a co-worker doesn't go to work. When a worker. Uh, doesn't when a, to when work. A, when a worker doesn't go to work. Worker doesn't to work. Doesn't go, doesn't go to work. Doesn't go to work. Sorry. Well, does your boss do when a worker doesn't go to work? Yeah. What does your boss do when? What does your boss do when a worker doesn't go to work? Si quieres se la voy a copiar ahí en the message. What does your boss do when? A worker, a worker. Yeah, I like to do this. Do a worker does, a worker doesn't happen. Yo miraba raro que dijera. El duque era el final. When doesn't, when doesn't. A worker does. Pero que lo llevo, lo que llevo a rato, que se suma. All right. Hey, guys.
Uh, well, we had some, some uh, problems here with the part number three in the second example. Yeah. All right. Yes, teacher. Yes, I, it's I, I, complicated. <laughs> Uh, no, it's not, but okay. <laughs> In the first one, can anybody tell me the first one? Can anybody tell me? She, she is. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Miriam, tell us. Okay, teacher. When the employee arrives late, she receives a notification. When the, when the employee arrives late, she receives a notification. Okay, thank you for that. What about the second one, second one, guys? Who's got the second one? Well, does your boss do when a worker doesn't go to work? Okay, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't go to work? Yes. Okay, Man, when is missing in the sentence? Okay, it's like in the first in the first one, we are missing uh, the, the, the late. And in the second example, we're missing, we're missing when. What about the third, the, the third one, people? Number three? Well, my boss, I found, I found so Hey, well, so die. I call my boss if I don't show up to work. Okay, I call my boss if I if I don't show up to work. Okay, that's how it is. All right, all right, excellent, excellent, perfect. Okay, we will stop this here. Teacher. Yes, hello. Le mandé el recado. ¿Me lo vieron? No. <laughs> no, ya <we are> recado. <laughs> oh. Gracias, teacher. Yes. Sí, me lo dio. Que no se preocupe, me dio el recado. All right, no problem. <laughs> okay, Mr. Donio. Okay, guys, uh, do you have any questions? No questions? Because we're, going to, we're going to get to a part that is a little difficult. Pretty soon. All right, very good. Now, uh, let me see here. Let me up, update my attendance or the attendance. I'm gonna update it, all right? Let me go. <laughs> okay, Alexander, Mr. Donio. Sorry. <laughs> oh no. All right. Brenda okay. Lisset. <laughs> Present. Daisy, 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 Martinez. Mm. We have a situation with her. I don't know what's happening. Well, hopefully she will join us next next join us next week. Uh, Elvin Alexander, no right. He was he hasn't shown up. Uh, Iris Joana Cañas Morales. Present. Hi, Jose Arnoldo Correa Jovel. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga Alas. Present teacher. I'm here. Hello, hello. Who who can you ask? Can you I'm here? I said present teacher. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yes. All right. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. I know you are there. Yes, don't worry. Next is uh, Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Aquí. Hello, hello. Present teacher. Excellent, excellent. Good to see you again. Hold on. I have a situation here. Excuse me. 
Okay, sorry. Uh, then we have Carla Patricia Pineda Lopez. Kenya Cecilia Ruiz Moran. Present. Maricela de Carmen Velázquez Diasis. Present, teacher. Hi. Uh, Rafael Antonio Barrientos Chinchilla. Present. Present, present teacher. Yes, yes, yes. sorry. Okay. Ronald Alexis Gomez Mendoza. Caray Beth González Garcia. Sonia Mira. Hi. Sonia Mira. Present teacher. Sonia Enes Martínez. Okay. <laughs> Wilmer Fabricio Morales Cáceres. Present. Judy Araceli Cuellar Hernández. Present, teacher. Uh, Carla Maritza Sánchez Mesa. Nubia. Julia Martín Marisa Cortés. Present, teacher. <laughs> Sorry. Karen Elena Vázquez Hernández. Present teacher. Beatriz Yamilet Lucero Pérez. Present teacher. And Edgar Jose Cruz. Present teacher. All right. Guys, do you have any questions? Oh, chica. Any questions, people? No, okay then, that's, that's okay. Let's continue. I'm going to start sharing with you today's topic. Guys, here we go. I need I need your full attention here. Okay, the, the, the topic is not difficult. It's uh, it's complex. That's the only the only thing that we have here that the topic is complex, but it is quite quite simple. All right. Yes, really really easy. <laughs> we will see. All right. Uh, the topic that we have is if or when clauses. Okay. Let me show you what a clause is. Okay, let me tell you in Spanish here, people. Les explico qué que, que, que quiere decir el when con el if en este caso. Uh, en inglés usamos el when para preguntar y también para expresar uh, condición. If se usa igual, es para expresar condición. Ambos, when y, 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 y el, el if se usan en lo mismo. Realmente es el mismo significado, ¿ok? Se da, lo que se da, si quieren aprender es lo mismo con el when y el if, ¿ok? Uh, el when y el if conectan dos oraciones, ¿ok? Conectan dos oraciones. Ok. Uh, ambas oraciones, en el caso de, de, este, de este día, están en presente. Ok, ambas están en presente simple. Ok, so el, el when y el if conectan esas dos oraciones. Uh, an example, an example can be, but I'm going to give you the structure, so don't worry about that. Ok, otra vez, el, el when y el if son una, es una, bueno, aquí dice clauses, clauses es como una cláusula, una oración. Ok, con un sujeto, con un verbo y con un complemento. Ok, esta, esta oración con if o con when se conecta con otra oración. Ok, yes. esta oración de we, de, de if y when es como una condición. Ok, yes. Y la otra es el, resu el resultado de la condición. O sea que si ponemos if when. No, solo es una, una, una de las dos. When a clause uh, dies. Estudying. I will give you some examples, okay? I will give you some examples. Iniciamos. 
Iniciamos acá. Ok, this is going to be really, really hard to understand. Ok, guys, vamos. Let's do this. If we and when, if and when closes. We and when closes. Ok. Look, we use if and when clauses to talk about real things that happen in daily situations. Ok. Es, en, en inglés le llama a esto el, el se le llama al, al cero condicional ok yes. hay, hay, hay tres condicionales bueno cuatro está el cero, el primer condicional el segundo y tercero okay. son unas estructuras bien complicadas de entender okay. esa es la más fácil con la, con la, 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 la primera ok The zero conditional, the zero conditional es para situaciones que sucede, que cosas que pasan en la vida real, que pasan pues normalmente en, la, en cualquier día, ¿ok? Uh, la estructura es la siguiente. The structure is the following. Pay attention to the structure, please. Subject I, verb ask for backup set. For a backup set is the is the complement if or when. Subject I, verb, forget, and complement my tool. Ok. Lo que voy a subrayar acá, esto que está acá, se le llama, we call it condition. Esa es la condición. And here is the result. El resultado de la condición. Ok. That's what it is. Okay. Yes. How would you say this example in Spanish, people? What do you say, teacher? How do you say this one in, in, in Spanish or this example in Spanish? Yo pregunto por mi set de respuestas si o cuándo yo olvido mis herramientas. Ok, something like that. Uh, ask es, es pedir o solicitar. Ok, en este caso. Oh, we're going to practice, don't worry. Quiero que, que vean la estructura. La estructura se puede cambiar, ¿ok? La posición. Me refiero a que... Ah, well, let, me, let me give you an example here. I can say if I forget my tools, I can... I ask for a backup set. ¿Ok? A backup, backup set. ¿Saben qué es esto? Respaldo. Es un set, un set de respaldo de herramientas. Ok. Dice, si yo olvido mis herramientas, bueno, solicito un, un set de herramientas de respaldo. Ok. O un set de respaldo, eso sería. Ok. Uh, si lo logran ver, podemos poner if en medio y también if al principio de la oración. Ambas están correctas y es lo mismo. Ok. Yes. Let's continue here. Vamos. Look at these examples. Arriba está la estructura. You, ha, you have the, 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 the structure on top. Okay, subject, verb, complement, plus if, plus subject, plus verb, complement. Okay. Prácticamente se, se, solo se pone, se usan dos oraciones diferentes y se conectan con if o con when. Siempre cuando tenga sentido. Look at the example. Mauricio, Mauricio, Calls, let me see. I have a problem with the computer. Mauricio calls tech support if he has computer problems. Okay, yes. Dice, Mauricio llama a soporte técnico si tiene problemas con su computadora. Okay, yes. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, entonces el if ha conectado dos oraciones. 
Una oración es Mauricio yes, calls tech support. Ok. He has computer problems. Esa es una oración. Con if la conectamos para que pues sea una sola oración. All right. Yes. Uh, of course, you can use you can use when up there, people. Like I said, when and if are pretty much the same. Here, you can use when with no problem. Okay. Yes. I can say Mauricio calls tech support when he has computer problems. Okay. When Sonia or if Sonia is sick, when Sonia is sick, she takes medicine. Cuando Sonia está enferma, ella toma medicina. All right. Yes. A moment here. <clears throat> Okay, sorry. Here we go. Okay. This example, if Sonia is sick, she takes medicine. Si Sonia está enferma o se enferma, ella toma medicina. Ah, noten algo. Si if va al, in, en medio de la oración, no se usa ninguna coma. Si if va antes o when va antes, se separa la oración con una coma. Okay. Next. When... Or if she has a class, she uses her laptop. Cuando ella tiene, si tiene una clase, o cuando ella tiene una clase, ella usa su laptop. Veronica is happy when she sees her children. Veronica is feliz cuando ve a sus hijos. Okay. Veronica is happy if she sees her children. Okay. We get, we get happy when we get our payment. Nos alegramos cuando tenemos, cuando, cuando nos pagan. <laughs> Yes. All right. Guys, entendemos esto. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Recuerden, son dos oraciones que van a unir. Vamos a vamos a por atrás. Aquí quedémonos en esta parte. Okay. Yo puedo decir uh, Look, I buy shoes, okay, I have money. Dos oraciones diferentes, okay, yo compro zapatos, yo tengo dinero, okay. Podemos usar, podemos usar when y también if para conectar las oraciones, okay, y las podemos conectar con if o con when, okay. The result, the result would be like this. Okay. I buy shoes when I have money. Okay. I buy shoes when I have money. Or when I have money, I buy shoes. Okay. Yes. Another example. Okay. Well, well let, let's leave it there. Let's continue. Ahora vamos a poner práctica y luego ustedes practicarán también. Let's continue here. Look. Look at the example here. I need you to complete the example here. If we have a baby, pueden darme cualquier, cualquier, cualquier resultado de la condición. Esta es la condición. Si yo tengo, si tenemos un niño o si tenemos un bebé, uh, el resultado puede ser cualquier cosa, ¿ok? Can you please try to give me some possible results? I don't sleep. <laughs> ok, let me... Uh. How do you say, tenemos un terremoto? Oh, we have an earthquake. <laughs> okay. Uh, we, okay, comma, okay. We don't get enough sleep. We, I buy 
milk. We have to buy milk. We come on. We become or responsible. We house. We house. Uh, but we are low. Look at this. Look. Uh, we can we can create different different results. Okay, podemos uh, crear diferentes resultados de la condición. Uh, over here, si tenemos un niño, uh, no conseguiríamos suficiente. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama eso? No dormiríamos suficiente. Okay. Si tuviéramos un niño, tendríamos que comprar leche. Si, tu, si tenemos un niño, uh, nos convertimos o nos hacemos más responsables. Si tenemos un niño, aprendemos acerca del amor verdadero. ¿Ok? Yes. ¿Ok? ¿Tienen niños? Sorry. Sorry, guys. Yo tengo uno también. Yo tengo uno. <ríe> I miss my baby. I miss my baby, people. Okay, next condition. Look, people, when I go to the gym, guys, when I go to the gym, I do exercise. When, when you go, I do exercise. Repeat, my name. When she close. When? She, what is that? Where? When she close. No. I don't understand. Hmm? I don't understand. I don't understand. When she close. No. No le entiendo. Lo que me quiere decir. When, <laughs> when she close. ¿Qué quiere decir en español? Lo que estaba explicando anteriormente. Mm -hmm. eh, no, me le voy a decir otra frase. ¿no? Ok. When sport, when sport. Ese, ese ya está acá. Lo, lo que necesito es el, el, es el resultado, la condición. Dice, cuando voy al gimnasio, al gimnasio. Ah, al gimnasio. ¿Cuál es el resultado? Eh, ejercicio. Ok, there you go. I'm fit. I'm fit. ¿Qué es fit? I exercise. I lost weight. Are you where? I exercise. I lose weight. I become sexy. <laughs> guapo. Guapo. <laughs> yes, it's, it's okay. It's normal. Okay. See? Ay, guapo, ay, guapo. <laughs> por ejemplo, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, sí. Musculoso, musculoso. <laughs> ok. All right, all right. Let's continue, let's continue. Thank you for the, for the possible results. Next, look, when I, I walk to my house when... When my car is bad. When, why, when, when what? Sorry. Limpieza. Sí. 
Guys? Yes. When I come to work. When, when I work in, in house. Que decir, trabaja en casa. Mm -hmm. No, aquí es, yo, no, yo, camino, yo camino hacia la casa cuando. Yo barro. Ah, cuando yo barro, cuando yo camino, cuando yo arreglo la cama o cuando hago limpieza. Sí, sí. Analizar. Yo lavo. No, ahí está. No, es, yo camino hacia la casa hacia cuando. La casa. cuando vengo my de car trabajo, breaks down. Vengo de When my car breaks down. Cuando vengo de una reunión, cuando vengo de de algo algo de la iglesia o cuando venimos de los paseos puede ser una patilla yes yes okay look exactly I walk I walk to my house when I finish work when I miss the bus when uh, my car breaks down when I need exercise etc okay I think this is the last one. Oh no, okay. She learns faster when... Hey, uh... She is study. When, study. Uh -huh. When... When she hey, yeah. study. Hey, yeah, study. When she pays attention. Okay, when she pays... Attention. She a cool. When she watches YouTube videos, what else? When she read, read books. Read books. She when book. She she practices. She practice. She write. When she writes, she write. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 She brown. She brown. Brown. All right. Thank you, guys. The next one is the next one is people, hombres. Oh, I see. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Ayúdeme, ayúdeme aquí. Alexander. Me no Wilmer. I am late. I don't wash the dishes. Don't clean the house. <laughs> okay, yo, okay. Vengo, yo vengo del gimnasio. I am late to house. Del gym. I don't clean the house. Mi esposa. La, si mi la esposa se enoja si, si llega tarde. Es celosa. Sí, sí. <laughs> no, no, no. Please don't take out the garbage. Yo vengo de una reunión de la oficina. Ay. Sí. If I get yeah. the order. Las tortillas, Yo llevo las tortillas y el pan a casa, a house. Okay, we have a lot of, a lot of uh, if possible, possible conditions. <laughs> Look, my supervisor comes to the office. We don't finish now. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Uh, I'm working in a project in, if I have problems in come okay, exactly come, come, my supervisor come. comes my supervisor comes to the office when I have problems when uh 
an employee is confused, etc. Okay. Yes. That's how it is. Okay. Guys, did you understand the topic? Sorry. La lista. Yes, I finished. I finished yesterday. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. I'm going to ask you, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask some of you, not everybody, everyone, some of you to give me some examples using the conditions, the conditionals when or we or, or if. Okay. But <coughs> <coughs> All right, <laughs> guys, a volunteer, a volunteer to give me an example. Me teach. Thank you. Espero se bien. When she has a concert, uh, she play her violin. Okay, when she has a concert, she plays her violin. All right. Anybody else? Another volunteer? Teacher. Me teacher. Okay, Alexander and then Yuri. If I die, I shouldn't drink alcohol. Okay, okay. If I drive, I shouldn't drink alcohol. All right. Uh, Yuri and then Rafael. If I run too much, I get tired. Okay, if I run too much, I get tired. All right. Yes, it's normal. <laughs> okay, excellent. Rafael? People die if they don't eat. Really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank yes. you very much. People, more, more volunteers? Hi, after them, uh, you cheap brush bro, to work. Okay, Edgar, thank you, Edgar. When I work during the night shift, I can't sleep during the day, the next day. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Thank you, Edgar, for that. Uh, Yves, Sarah Yves, you. No sé si entendí bien, pero eh, I visit the hospital when I am sick. No sé, cuando me siento enferma. Yes, yes, it's perfect. Thank you very much. Well done. Excellent. Maricela? Yes. Repeat, Miriam. Yeah, my mother is happy when my brothers visit her. Oh, okay. Your mother is happy when your brother visits her. Okay, okay, excellent, excellent, thank you. Maricela? I'm sorry, teacher. Why? I sleep in one moment. <laughs> Uh, the good thing you're you're honest, okay? <laughs> okay, no problem, it's okay. <laughs> We're sleeping, okay. All right, Kenya. Hi, Kenya. Hi. I wake up early when I go to sleep late. Really? I don't wake up early mm -hmm. when I go to sleep late. Okay, okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Let me see. A volunteer. Me, teacher. Thank you, Brenda. They play football if they don't have any homework. Okay, let me see, Joanna, it is Joanna, please. 
I am happy when I exercise. You are happy when you exercise. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me see another person here. Mm -hmm. They say hello. Hello, Vol teacher. Volvió. <laughs> Después de un mes de ausencia, volvió. Ay, no. <laughs> fueron tres días. Tres meses fueron. <laughs> okay, good to see you again. Bienvenido. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Okay, let me see. Um, mm -hmm. Beatriz and Milet, can you please give us an example? No? Okay. Uh, Sonia and Janet, give us an example. No, okay. Guys, uh, we're going to continue with the next activity. The next Leaves, day, baby. Uh -huh. Repeat, please. Days. Mm -hmm. Is they baby? Grace, she, he is happy. No le escucho muy bien. No se escucha. Repeat. If they baby, Grace, Chris, Grace, Grace, he is hungry. 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 Yeah, okay. Yes, yes. I understand now. Okay. People, writing. Write a short paragraph about policies and procedures at your workplace. Use if and when to join clauses. Okay. Look, when you can start like this when uh, per an employee breaks a rule, the supervisor comes to the to his or her office to talk about the seat situation. Le gusta decir con la conversación, ¿ok? Así es como sería, ¿ok? Cuando un, un empleado rompe o quebranta una regla, el supervisor viene y habla con él o ella para, you know, yes. Eso es lo que haría, ¿ok? Go. You have around seven, seven minutes.
coche también. O no sé si he hablado. Yo me voy a la sala. A la chiquita de la sala. Por eso, pero yo también me voy Watching you, people. I'm watching you. Let me get some water in a second. Let me know if you have any questions, people. Let me know if you have any questions. You will you finish?
Guys, you finish. Finish. Okay, almost. Let's see. Is there a volunteer that would like to share? Yes. Okay, Sara, thank you. Uh, when an employee is done home to work mm -hmm. and don't have permission, mm -hmm. the employee have a discount on uh, one day and the seven, seventh, no, how se pronuncia? Seventh. 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 Okay. You finish. Finish. Y poli, y WhatsApp. Era, era un párrafo. <laughs> en myself se ve como un párrafo. <laughs> no mentiras. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Rafael, thank you, Rafael. Uh, and then, y luego, Nubia, okay. <laughs> okay. When, when employees breaks a role, the supervisor <laughs> comes to <laughs> its head office to talk about the situation, and the employee receives a notification if the role broke is very serious. Oh. Or receive a verbal warning when the rule broke is not serious. No, oh, okay. Broken, the broken rule. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, let's continue. Nubia? Okay. When an employee damaged any material work or and equipment, it mm -hmm. is discount from his salary. Okay, okay, very good. Not good, though. <laughs> All right, anybody else? Oh, wait, wait, Mr. Doño, hello. No, no, Alexander, I, 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 I sent you a message. Okay. Confirm, please. Okay, Juan, Juan uh, Menedemo. Aha, diga, my teacher. As I for a pack of drugs, uh, with cows, she went, I forced my tool. She went, feel my tool, I like a pack shit. Could you please repeat? I asked for a box. I told when it falls, I buy cow cheap when I force my toe. I force my toe, I buy light sharp with check. Right, wait here. Okay. Uh, Sonia, Miriam, yes, thank you. Okay, teacher. In my company, there are some rules to comply when we are working. Mm -hmm. For example, don't shut out, don't shut out, don't eat in front of customers, don't use obscene language, don't run on the stairs, don't smoke in the production area, don't leave the office without permission. Okay, and what is the, 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 the result? Okay. Sorry? What is the, 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 because you mentioned some problems, what is the, the condition or the result? The conditions. The result, um, actually. If, if, if the roads are broken and uh, the employee receives uh, a monetization. Okay, that is okay. No good. <laughs> All right. Thank you for, very much for that. Okay. 
what happened? Can you see here? There you go. Okay. Uh, Edgar, can you please share what you have, Edgar? Edgar, are you there? Edgar is sleeping. No, okay. Um, let me see. Jose Arnoldo Correa, are you there? Could you please share what you have? Oh, he's not there either. Okay. It is Joanna. If an employee resigns from his job, he has to hand over the assigning laptop and cell phone. All right, all right. Okay. Judy. Hi, Judy. Hi, teacher. Okay. In my company, if the employee breaks the rules, they first receive a warning mm -hmm. from the supervisor. Yes. If the fault is serious and there are in there is a need for a reprimand, they give it. But when there are not other options. Okay, I understand now. Okay. So do not break the rules today. <laughs> Don't break the rules. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why uh, dinner? She a co I choose sugar. She I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> okay. Uh, Fabricio? Be quiet. Yes, my paragraph is about the use of a cell phone. If employee is caught using the cell phone inside the company, the boss calls him to return the cell phone to the porter lodge. Employees are not allowed to use cell phone. An employee needs to have a special permission to use the cell phone. When employee doesn't have the permission and he is still Using the cell phone, the boss takes his cell phone and the employee has to go to the office or with the human resources manager. Then he has to sign up a paper, a form, maybe a molestation. And that is the procedure of, about using the cell phone inside the company. Okay, don't use it then. Uh, you don't use it. <laughs> permission. Yeah. Oh, okay. Excuse me. <laughs> all right. All right. Excellent. Uh, Carla Patricia, do you have anything? No. You. I don't see you. I don't hear you. Okay. Janet Martinez. Tell me. Ari. When the employee has a problem in the supermarket, the su, 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 super, ¿cómo dice supervisor? Supervisor. Supervisor, ¿cómo es tu solve de problem? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for that. Then uh, let me see here. Daisy, what do you have, Daisy? Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi. If an employee invoice incorrectly, he is called to attention also if he is late if an employee 
disrespect a superior, they receive a sanction. A penance. Sorry? A penance. A penance. Or a penalty. Oh, okay. A penalty. Yeah. If a product is damaged, the employee is counted. Count. And when an employee does not check this, this display case, he can spread product. Okay, okay. Juan Ricardo Labarenga, are you there? Uh, yes, teacher man, a little bit busy right now and do some things here at home. Okay, okay, I understand. Don't worry about it. Okay, Alexander, you haven't shared. In my world, there are some policies and procedures. For example, when an employee is late, he or she must replace the work hours or at this point is up there. If I employee it, it's in work hours, the boss gives him a one. And when an employee uses the cell phone uh, for personal situations, he or she gets uh, warnings from the boss. Okay, no good. Huh? <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, Kenya, can you can you share? Yes. Thank you. When uh, when an employee come late to the work, mm -hmm. the boss have have to talk with her or him and call the attention. Mm -hmm. Also, when an employee does does not follow the dress code, have to have a call of attention in human resource. Mm -hmm. And when, if I, I can connect in my computer on time, I have to call my boss and explain why, why I can't connect on time. Okay, all right. Okay, that's really good, that's really good. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to take attendance. Remember, I just wanna, well, let me take attendance. Mm -hmm. All right, let me take attendance. We're almost, almost, about to go, okay. <laughs> uh, let's do this. Alexander Arondoño Flores. Present teacher. Uh, Alexander? Yes. All right. Sorry. We still get that, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Then we have uh, Brenda Lisset Garcia Orellana. Present. Daisy Yesenia Mesquita Martinez. No está, ¿verdad? Present. Ya no existe en la lista. La borramos. La borramos. I'm here. Ah, ya la borraron, pero ya la borraron aquí. Si no, no. Ok, no, no. Es a joke, ok. Es broma, es broma. <laughs> Elvin Alejandra Parado Díaz no estuvo uh, Iris Joana Cañas Morales present Juan José Arnold, José Arnoldo Correa Joel present uh -huh. Juan Ricardo Marenga Alas 
Present teacher. Juan Ricardo Medenemo Delgado Vázquez. Present teacher. Carla Patricia Pineda López. Um, Kenia Cecilia, Luis Morán. Present. Maricela de Carmen Velázquez Diasis. Rafael Antonio Barrientos. I'm here. Ronald Alexis Gómez Mendoza. Sí. Sara Ives González García. <coughs> Sonia Miriam. I'm Cotter. here. Hello. Present teacher. Sonia Enez Martínez de Orellana. Present teacher. Wilmer Fabricio Morales Cáceres. Present. Judy Araceli Cuella Las Ríos. Present teacher. Carla Maritza Sánchez Mesa. She was here, she left. Um, Nubia Zulema Marisa Cortez. Present teacher. Why do you have three names? What? Why do you have three names? I don't know. My father put my three names. For three identity, ident identify. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> Karen Elena Vasquez Hernandez. Beatriz Lucero Pérez. Present teacher. Energa Jose Cruz. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. He's sleeping. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Edgar. Ah, uh, people. No veo otro transparente. Okay, fantasma. Un holograma. <laughs> All right. Este, para ya el día lunes les mandarán el, el correo. O no sé si ya lo, ya lo mandaron, no es seguro. Ya lo mandaron. Ya lo mandaron, mandaron, mandaron el correo. Ok, te lo mandaron. Ya estuvo. Ok, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ya saben qué hacer, ¿verdad? No hacer, no hacer nada por el momento. No esperar. Como usted lo vamos a llenar, dijeron. Ajá, exacto. Espera hasta el día, hasta el día martes para llenarlo completo juntos. Ok, todos juntos acá. Durante la clase lo vamos a llenar. ¿Ok? Yes. Uh, y recuerden, el martes es el último día para, para poder hacer la plataforma. ¿Ok? Así que este fin de semana pueden adelantar sus poquitos si pueden adelantarse. Si no, pues, hasta el día lunes y martes. ¿Ok? Yes. All right. ¿Preguntas? Ok. Que los bendiga a todos y a todas. Y que tengan buenas noches. A Monday. I see you guys. Have a good, good night. Dancing. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. 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 No, it's okay, teacher. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Alexander, do you have any questions about the topics, opinions, dudas, quejas? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. No, teacher, I don't know. I don't know if claro. Que siento, ahora sí que me cuesta un poco quizás la pronunciación. Mm, sí, sí, es normal. Hay palabras que cuesta mucho pronunciarlas. Sí. Ok. Ajá, dígame. <risa> no, solamente eso, pinche, no sé, no sé. Ok. Y se si sabe la verdad, Dario, Aaron. Um, sí. Se lo olvidaron una palabra. No se la olvida ninguna. Se la sabe bien. Porque es muy, muy importante. Eso es esencial para poder pronunciar las palabras bien. A veces, a veces, la a veces, a veces lo, lo ven como, como que es algo que, que no, no, no tiene mucha importancia, pero no. 
si es el caso de la base de la, la, de la pronunciación del inglés, pues esas cosas. Esa, esa. Creo yo que sí, no lo puedo. No sé, si quiere lo digo. Ok, dígame cosas. A, a, B, C, D, E, F. F, F, G. F, G, H. H. A, H. I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, E, S, T, U, Y, W, B, X, X, P. Ok. Vamos a, a practicar para que vean que sí se pronuncian las la, 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 la vocales. No. Le una, una, una palabra una, en el chat. Le puse una. Si usted recuerda, la, la, la I en inglés se dice I, ¿verdad? Sí. Acá, usted ve, se pronuncia como, como, como es allá en el abecedario. Se dice I, aquí es five. Lo ponemos a la F y luego five. Ok. Uh, hay casos en los, cual, en los cuales se dice I. Ok. Un caso podría ser esta palabra que le voy a escribir. Esa que está ahí. En ambas ocasiones, como está ahí en, el, en esa palabra, en ambas ocasiones, en, en ambas se dice I. Ok, se dice incredible. Ok. Hay ciertas, ciertas uh, palabras que se pronuncian que la, que la, la I, que es A en inglés, no se dice A, se dice I. Ok. Y así pasa con... Pero, y, y, ¿Y hay alguna regla como para saber eso? No, la, la verdad no hay ninguna regla. No hay ninguna oh. regla. Sí. Uh, para poder extender su, su, su conocimiento en la pronunciación, le aconsejaría que buscara algo que se llama así. No me acuerdo cómo se llama. ¿Cómo se, cómo se escribe? <ríe> Tengo que buscarlo en internet, pero no me acuerdo cómo se escribe. <ríe> sí, que no me acuerdo. Fue, eso lo vi en el, 2000, en el 2011, en la universidad. Si no me acuerdo para nada de eso. <ríe> no recuerdo. Aquí está. Esta cosa es, es para pronunciación de las vocales, más bien. Porque las vocales son las que dan problemas. Sin las vocales, sí, pues, sí. Pues, pues se basa todo. Aunque eso que se acaba sí, de ver. Shua. Ajá, Shua. Esa es la, 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 la... Se llama Shua, es como una E invertida. Es la E eso, invertida. ¿Pero y eso qué es? Eso es fonética del inglés. Oh. Ajá. Es una, es una E invertida, la cual, la cual este, cubre todas las vocales. Es, esa E invertida tiene, tiene un, un sonido como A, oh, algo así. Entonces, uh, cubre la A, la E, la I, la O y la U. Entonces, con, el, con el schwa se puede, se puede saber cómo se pronuncia la palabra. Mm. Ok, eso sería. ¿Y, y, ¿Y cómo ha logrado aprender inglés, Alexander? Eh, aquí en las clases. ¿En la cara, ¿Es el módulo 1? Eh, desde el 2, el módulo 1 no lo, no lo hice. No, okay. Me dijeron que estaba yo en el cubo, entonces comenzamos desde el 2. Ahí en el módulo, este, a veces, un poco la pronunciación, quizás como oyendo eh, canciones. Uh -huh. O también a veces veo videos en YouTube de, de algunos profesores que enseñan inglés. Busque, busque a, a clips. Así como lo puse en el, en el, en el chat. Movie, movie clips subbed. Eh, eh, así le van a salir unos, unos clips de películas así al, al azar, pero uh, uh, si le pone la, la sub, le van a aparecer con, con los subtítulos en inglés. Ay, así, es, así es original ver, ver videos, porque uno ve lo que dice, lo, escucha lo que dicen y ve lo que están diciendo. Sí, sí. Ah, ah sí, porque no nos vemos viendo el, 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 el subtítulo en español. Exacto, ese es el punto, mire, ese, esa, esa idea así, de, de, para aprender inglés. Con, con inglés, en inglés es muy buena. Eh, yo, cuando inicié eh, por el 2013, 12, 
a, a aprender más inglés y eso así. A mí me gusta ver mucho el anime. Entonces, yo, el, el anime, el anime <risa> es, en japonés, es en japonés. Sí, es en japonés. Entonces, pero yo buscaba que el, que el título fuera en inglés. Ah, okay. Obviamente no entendía todo, porque eso, eso era <risa> prácticamente imposible. Pero poco a poco fui avanzando, fui ese, y luego ya empecé a ver series americanas con, con, en inglés, con sus títulos en inglés. Entonces, me quedaban más cosas. Y ahora ya no... Hecho, ahora... Es, lo que he hecho a veces es ver como videos de, de música con el subtítulo. Eso es un título en inglés. Ajá, eso está bueno también. Es que así, así tiene que ser. Cuando ya se acostumbre con los títulos en inglés, uh, después ya cuando ya está acostumbrado de, de escucharlo, a veces, ya, bueno, llega a un punto, déjeme decirle, llega a un punto, porque yo me acostumbré así, vi una serie de 10 temporadas con, uh, en inglés, con uh, títulos en inglés. La vi por 10 temporadas, 10, 10 temporadas completas. Y luego ya la, la volví a ver. Pero dije yo, esta vez no la veré con subtítulos, entonces la quité. Y luego vi, vi toda la serie, con, otra vez la voy a repetir, sin subtítulos en, en inglés, solamente escuchando en inglés. Y después de eso intenté ver una película en inglés, solo en inglés. Y la película la vi bien original, entendí todo. Bueno, no entendí todo, más bien entendí cómo estaba la película. Algunas partes no las entendía, pero uh, así poco a poco fui avanzando. Ahora, por mí, no hay problema ver una película en inglés, la veo en inglés, sin subtítulos y la entiendo prácticamente todo. Eso me ha pasado, porque quiero ver, estaba viendo una serie hace poco, eh, pero la estábamos viendo con el subtítulo en español porque estaba mi familia. Uh -huh. Pero o el último capítulo que vimos tenía el subtítulo en inglés. Uh -huh. Entonces, yo trataba de no ver el subtítulo para, uh -huh. para entender lo que decía y lograba entender algunas cosas, pero sí, pero sí todavía me faltaba bastante. Uh -huh. <ríe> El punto, el punto, Alexander, es seguir practicando. Sí. Seguir practicando. Incluso si usted ya, ya habla inglés, sí, bueno, imagínese yo, si yo dejara de, de practicar el inglés por un cierto tiempo, a mí se me olvida. Sí, sí. Se sí. me olvida. Y dejo de, 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 hablar, de, 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 de hablar como hablo. La, la, la fluidez la pierdo, porque como uno está acostumbrado todos los días, todos los días. Pues... Sí, yo siento que eso quizá es una dificultad, porque... O sea, practicarlo es, es lo más... Quizás quizá no, no, no tengo como esa... O sea, por ejemplo, porque por, por lo menos veo a algunos compañeros que ellos en el lugar donde trabajan, sí este, hablan inglés y quizás eso les ayuda a poder entenderlo más. O, o sea, sí, sí, como practicarlo quizás es lo más... Sí, sí. Lo, 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 que, lo que se tendría que hacer, ¿no? Bueno, lo que hay que hacer es practicar, Alexander, todos los días. No, y me pasa algo. Un día estaba hablando normal, o sea, con alguien, pero de repente pensé que tenía que decírselo en inglés. No sé por qué pensé eso. Pero, bueno. Y eso, cuando es, eso sucede cuando ya uno ya se ha adentrado bastante en inglés y se ha acostumbrado mucho al inglés. Y cuando está en una conversación, conversación con, con alguien, con un familiar, con una persona, se le, pone, se le meten las palabras en inglés cuando la mete y las dice. Me pasó muchas veces a mí cuando estaba en la universidad. Pero en ese momento en la universidad ya estaba yo muy, muy metido en el inglés. Todos los días practicaba inglés. A veces cuando, cuando exponía o hacía bueno, exposiciones en la, en la universidad en español, me salían palabras en inglés durante la exposición o la presentación. Entonces, sí. Y aún me pasa, fíjense, aún me pasa cuando hablan español con mis amigos, con una persona conocida, se me sale el, el, el inglés por ratos. <risa> Eso es Spanish. Ajá, exacto. Es <risa> okay. Bueno, siga, siga practicando, Alexander. Uh, bueno, les he mandado a, a, a la mayoría, les le he buscado un link, que les, se lo encuentro acá para puede mandárselo a usted, de un canal de YouTube en, cual, en el cual suben, suben videos de, de series, bueno, clips de series, de películas para, para, con, con los títulos en, en inglés. Y así pues pueda, pueda, in class, aquí está. Este es. Y se voy a compartir por el chat para que lo pueda ver. Ahí está compartido. 
Ellos suben buenos videos, son videos cortos de 5 de, 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 de minutos, 3 minutos, de pequeñas escenas de películas y series, ¿okay? ya con los subtítulos en inglés. Uh -huh, eso. Y si quisiera mejorar, mejorar hablar a uh, inglés, les recomendaría ver la serie que se llama Friends. De hecho, esta, esta, este canal de YouTube sube videos de Friends con, con, con los títulos en español e inglés. Uh -huh. Friends, es una, Friends es una serie muy difícil que yo me, me gustaba mucho investigar antes. Y investigué cuáles cuál eran las mejores series para aprender inglés. Y la, la número uno era, era Friends. Y lo he comprobado. Ellos usan vocabulario diario. Diario, 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 todos los días. Entonces, es una serie que ayuda mucho, mucho a incrementar el vocabulario, la fluidez, la, la, las palabras que usan los americanos y todo eso. Es, sí, sí. es muy buena para eso. Ellos tienen sus, sus modismos. Exacto, ese sí, es ajá. Ya me, ya, ya, ya me habían dicho de esa serie. Que, es muy buena, que para buena para aprender. Muy buena para eso, sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, then. Le dejo con el, con el link de ese canal para que lo pueda observar. Un, un video que vea así al, al diario, al día, uh, para lo que está comiendo. En, en el que nos dio. Riéndose. <risa> ok. Ok. Well, it, it is time to sleep, Alexander. Mr. Doño. <risa> ok. No se le va a olvidar. No se le va a olvidar, Mr. Doño. <risa> Así lo dice Menedemo, Mr. Doño, Alexander Doño. Le... <ríe> All right, Alexander. Entonces, me voy a decir. Bueno. Se cuida mucho, ok. Que la pase bien esta semana. Disfrute el fin de semana con su familia, amigos, con cualquier persona que esté, ok. Pásala bien. Gracias, Cuida mucho, ok. Gracias. See you Monday. Buenas noches. Thank you, thank you. Good night.